the second most populous city in the entire country. Los Angeles, California, the site for our game today. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Washington is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Trojans having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. So he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a deep four. That makes it second and six. Ready! Three ninety! Complete, brought down, nothing doing. in the middle and he's tackled at about the 45. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. He goes out of bounds around the 44 yard line. From the 44 yard line it's second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Back's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop right around the 30. Number three brings him down at the 30-yard line. That brings us third and 10. Pressure coming, and he's level at the 38. You know, the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way, he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. Fourth and long here after the sack. USC is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. McGrath ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Tackled after a decent pickup. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. Mike 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. He's hit and got away. Gains his way to midfield. And a quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, second down. Down he goes, around the 34-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Just throws this one away. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Washington is looking to tie things up. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good! Henry gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Brought down right around the 34. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Second and 14. Ball on the 36. Hey, alert 48. Hey, the Ready. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Quick throw, tackle made at the 27-yard line. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Dumps it out left to the running back. The 
10. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Pressured and brought down. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. End zone! And he can't hang on to it. USC could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Game seven. That makes it 33. Mike 56. Mike 56. And he throws it away. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Brown awaits the snap. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. USC is up by three. With the pass incomplete. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. McGrew will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 27. The Trojans really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. He airs it out. It's complete. To the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Washington! Yeah. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a short three play, 73 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He steps out right around the 28-yard line. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. hit immediately. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Steps out of bounds, right around midfield. And he just gets rid of it. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So at the end of one, the Huskies lead 10-6. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first tight ball game, folks. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Washington is up four. He's under pressure. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws it to the outside. Oh, great catch. Newton will run it again, and they push him out at the 49. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. Here he goes. And he's tackled at about the 27 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings in second and nine. Let's 
And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. Washington is up by four. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Touchdown, Huskies! And he tacks on the extra point. Henry has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he has it on the corner. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 42. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got it, and brought down immediately. That makes it second and six. Caught a big hit there to stop him. They come out in a five-wide set. Looks to him again, complete. He's brought down in the open field. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. Five wide. play and it's going to be first and goal. It's first down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. They'll bring him down at the one yard line. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he adds the extra point. McGrath has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's the pass, broken up. It's third and 11. Ball on the 24. Washington holds a four-point lead. Going right to his tailback. 
And down he goes at the 33. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That'll make it second and seven. He goes out of bounds around the 46 yard line. That makes it 33. Throws complete. He's got room to work. down after a nice run up the middle. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down around the 35-yard line. Strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 32. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Out of bounds right around the 30. Receivers got the first down, and he's tackled right away. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Nice run to the left there. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings him second and goal. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. 13th play of the drive coming up. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. USC gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washington is up one. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. On the 
ground right side. Tackle at about the 39 yard line. Gain of 14 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 56, Mike 56. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle made at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and two. Pitches it, and he's hitting the backfield. We've got a third and six here. Ball on their own 43. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. A couple of yards there. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. immediately tackled. He's out of bounds right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Steps out at the 44. Throws this one out to the left. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. They'll line up with five wide receivers. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Fires out to his receiver. He's at the 20. He's taken down at about the 11. And this play is number eight on the drive. USC's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. The offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 81-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that beat. So the score now, 23-17. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Makes it to the 34. Washington's going to take their first time out of the hat. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's hit and taken down. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs, and the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense, but clearly the offensive coordinators are very happy about the execution on that last play. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. They hook up over the middle. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 27. From the 27 yard line. First down. He gets it up and it's long enough. And he got it. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. Our score is 23 20 USC. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Dueling virtuoso performances by both offensive coordinators. I usually like to give the helmet sticker on college football final okay. players. Yeah. Players. The players. You breaking the rule here? I might. I mean sensational play calling by both of these guys with the headsets up in the booth. I'm sure they'll be so honored to win one of your stickers. They I mean, should be. They might even wear it on their visor next week on the sideline, but it that, would inspire them. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty nice to be dialing up everything, and uh, it's pretty nice to be in the rhythm and the flow, and everything seems to be working perfectly. And I, I imagine this is how offensive coordinators go from offensive coordinators to head coaches, because they put everything together at the perfect moment, at the perfect time, and you go, okay, that can't be stopped. And right now, that's what it looks like. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. We've got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Across midfield. At the 30. And they finally make the stop at the 26-yard line. That's a And they get nice yardage on that run. 
Fires it out. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's exactly that, 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 that. that makes it first and goal. Nice run up the middle. They try to get a head start there. Ball start offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Coming to you, coming to you. It's second and goal. Ball on the seventh. Tackles him hard at the five-yard line. Two yards there on the option keeper. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. It's the tailback. Touchdown, Huskies. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Washington lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 15. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Here we go. Bring They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. offside. Defense. Defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First and five. Ball on their own 38. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Yeah. 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And down he goes at the 13. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. USC, the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. USC's game plan is to put the ball in the air, and you've got to have somebody to catch it on the other end, and they've got a good one. Yeah, and this defense knew coming into this game that this is the difference maker, that they had to be able to slow down, and so far they've not been able to come up with the answers on how to slow him down and take him away from the offense. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Fires right side, got his tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27 yard line. He's scrambling. Dives forward. it out right to the running back and they push him out right around the 38 yard line it's second and 11 ball on the 38 and they've got all their dbs in there to match up against the five wide set Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That makes it three and seven. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. Inside the 10, got him again. Touchdown, Washington! Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes, so kudos to the quarterback. And he adds the extra point. Washington to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The 
The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Grabs it and hammered right there. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. And they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. So the sack makes this third and very long. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33. That'll make it fourth and two. McGrew back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. He's tackled at the 30. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Washington holds a four-point lead. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Number one makes the set to at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Check it out. Patriots, Patriots. Catches it, but he steps out. He would have been better off letting that one go. to him before he could get back to the line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Certainly they don't have the return on here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. This is the time in the game where he can accrue even more fan support if he can get him in the end zone here. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ten, two, three, 15, go. Got a man. Watch out here. He steps out at the 31-yard line. Strike complete. He's tackled around the 36 yard line. And he's hit immediately. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Set, 
Pass complete and taken down immediately. It's been an offensive explosion through three quarters of play. We head to the fourth quarter. Washington leads it 34-30. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Wide out makes the first down catch. Tackle around the 25-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Sometimes late in a game like this, we get so focused on the offense and whether or not the offense can get in field goal range and maybe have a shot to win it with a touchdown, that I think sometimes we overlook the defense. And I think the worst thing you can do defensively right now is be passive and sit back and almost a prevent defense. When you play a prevent defense and sit back, it makes it very easy on the offensive line and quarterback to execute the offense. Maintain your aggressiveness as a defense late in the game with the lead. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Third and long in the fourth quarter. If the defense gets a stop here, it might be a W. Five wide. And they make the stop at the 32. This one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Not a bad return. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. USC is up by three. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. And he's immediately tackled. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. And he goes down quickly. Quarterback 
quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Our score after the field goal, USC 40, Washington 34. McGrath ready to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. to his tight end. Nothing doing. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's going to air it long. And a great catch downfield. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. the 20 yard line. Jackson makes the tackle at the 20 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes it first and ten. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 13. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Henry looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. USC has a three-point lead. He's hit and taken down. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Out of bounds. Around the 47-yard line. On 
the catch, and he steps out. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47. And he's tackled after positive yardage. to that quickly and down he goes right around the 26 yard line less than three minutes in the game pass is caught the defense lays him out Tackle made right around the 20. Washington's going to use their first time out of the half here. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 18. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Kicks away, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Slings it. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Spikes the ball. It's third and five. Ball on their own 30. Steps up and goes down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You are going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. So not a lot of time left. And they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. 
gains his way to the 13-yard line. Brad, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. Just a minute remains in this football game. The 10. Touchdown, USC! That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Get the two. USC gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Not looking so good for the offense. At this point, all they can do is put the ball in the air and hope. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. the ball throws it in a hurry across midfield tackle at the 47 Trojans know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.